Hey guys, it's me. You can probably see a little bit of me, but not my face. I just, I don't like to be on camera, so I'm going to try not to be. But I, I wanted to bring you along with me today during my, my work day. Um, I call it work, but it's really play. <laughs> I just, I love my job so much as an artist that it doesn't feel like work. I just feel like I'm playing with dolls all day. But um, I have to, um, what do I have to do? I have to glue this baby's eyelashes. She got her pacifier um, and her hair is glued. Her magnets glued, so now I I realized I forgot to glue her eyelashes, so I've got to do that real quick. And then she'll be set out to dry. Um, she sold yesterday. She is a budget baby cuddle baby. Um, her limbs, she did have limbs, but if you saw my video before, um, I put varnish, a new type of varnish on her limbs, and it didn't work out. It started peeling, so I had to throw away her limbs. Luckily, I used a different varnish on her face that is fine. So her head is in good shape, but her limbs are not. So she became a cuddle baby and she sold yesterday. And so I'm getting her all ready to be boxed up and taken to the post office this afternoon. So um, I'm gonna, you're gonna come with me to assemble her, put her, put her box opening together. And then I have a kit that's being delivered today that I'm going to open with you guys and maybe a new varnish, but I'm not sure if it's going to be here today or not. We'll see, but I'll bring you guys along with me. Um, first though, I'm going to paint a little bit of this baby. This is Daphne. I showed you guys the other day. Hopefully you can see her. Um, I, she came in the mail yesterday or two days ago. And I'm going to uh, do some painting on her before I get this baby boxed up while her eyelashes dry. But I guess you guys can watch me do that a little bit. So to glue eyelashes, I use Fabric Fusion by Aileen's, uh, Aileen's Original. They make gloss too. So I just dip my brush down in there. I hope you guys can see everything. I've got you set up on my TV. I have a TV in my um painting room or my nursery if you want to call it that and i have you guys sitting up there so i'm going to take this fabric fusion and just paint it on the eyelashes inside one day i'll show you guys how i root eyelashes and hair maybe i'll show you that on daphne Then I just take a baby wipe and wipe the glue off as best as I can because I reuse this brush over and over again to glue eyelashes. Gotta have baby wipes. That's a must. <laughs> and right now on Daphne, I am doing this, this color wash. It's an orange. Hopefully you can see that. It's one of my favorite washes to do. It really it makes it really makes the baby pop. So I'm putting on um, this orange wash right now. So I guess you can watch me do that too. I'll speed through it though, so it doesn't take so long. of that orange wash on it was just that leg that needed it so I'm gonna put them in the oven if you can see it I've got my oven over here I'm gonna put on my respirator mask because you never want to paint or bake uh, without your respirator mask on because it can cause cancer the vinyl fumes and then we're gonna go assemble the cuddle baby and I'll show you guys how I do that okay see you in a minute okay guys I normally uh, assemble my babies in our den because my beads my stuffing 
uh, my pantyhose, my zip ties, all that stuff is in the den, but it is so poorly lit in there and there's nowhere for me to put my camera and I don't have a tripod. So I brought everything in here to show you how to do it. Um, I, I'm not really going to show you like a step by step of how to do it. I'm just going to kind of let you watch me and put it together. I will link a video, um, in the description that shows you how to properly put together a cuddle body if you wanted to watch that. It'll show you in full detail. Okay, so here are the arms and the legs. And you've got the body. There are these little black marks marked where you want to take little scissors and cut a little hole in, and there's a hole here. You just want to cut the, these little holes before you start this. And you'll see why, because you're going to stick a piece through that. Okay, so first what I do is I'm going to do the legs first. Okay, so this little thing is glass beads, double double um, pantyhosed. So it's inside pantyhosed. Uh, it's inside two pairs of pantyhose to keep the beads from coming out. And then I put plastic wrap, uh, saran wrap around it. And this is because glass beads are very dusty and you can actually inhale the dust if you're not careful. And I've actually put together a cuddle baby without the saran wrap and the beads and dust would come through. And so if you're a child or a elderly person, because a lot of the people that buy my budget babies are elderly or children, I don't want to be responsible for them inhaling, you know, toxic dust from the glass beads so I wrap it in saran wrap and ever since I started doing this no dust or anything comes through comes through the um the cloth okay so there's a hole right here for you to stick your weighting material it down inside of so I just shove that down in there till it's all the way down in the foot then I take stuffing and I stuff it full. Let me do that real quick off camera. Okay, and the cuddle body comes with these plastic um, little thingies. I don't know what you call them. But, um, oh yeah, I forgot to cut, cut a hole right here. So you stick this in there and put this little peg through the hole. And you're going to use this to uh, connect it to the body. So it's going to go through and then you're gonna use that to connect the body. It's, I'm probably uh, horribly explaining this, but it's really hard to, to show you. I'm gonna link that video that shows you how to properly do this in the description. Let me go put her together and I will show you what she looks like when she's done. Okay, I'm back. Here she is all put together. Sorry, I didn't do a better job explaining how to do it, but like I said, I'll link that video. But she's got weighting material in her hands and then stuffing all the way up. And then she's got weighting material in her butt and in her chest with stuffing in between. And then she's got weighting material in her feet and then stuffing all the way up. Oh, and in her head too. And then she's got stuffing in her head. So let's box her up so I can take her to the post office and so she can get home to her new mom first. I'm gonna diaper her, dress her, wrap her in her blanket, and um, put her saran wrap on her head to protect her hair. So let me go ahead and wrap her hair in, in saran wrap. Okay. Not, not pretty, I know, but it's really important to protect the hair in transit because it will not only look insane and wild when they open her up without the saran wrap, but it can break off the hair and rip the hair out too. And I worked real hard on rooting that, so I don't want anything to come out. I'm putting her in this sleeper from Gerber, size newborn. I just got a pack on Amazon. I send all my cuddle babies home in a sleeper that have built-in mittens so that it will cover all the cloth. 
Okay. Oh, I forgot to put her diaper on. Goodness gracious. Can't send her home with no underwear. <laughs> Can't send you home with no diaper. Okay, I'm going to wrap her in her blanket. Just got these off Amazon too. I try to buy really inexpensive but cute items to send home because my budget babies are very low priced. Like she was only $1.99 plus shipping, which is a great, great price for the quality that she is. My babies, uh, my babies with full limbs are $2.99. One day I'll make a video showing you guys the difference between a budget baby and a full detail baby. Like my latest full detail baby sold for $500 um, and my budgets are $299. So that tells you the difference in price. And my budgets are still cute. They're just less, there's just less paint and less time that goes into them. But let me get the ribbon to tie around her. Okay, I'm going to tie a ribbon around her blanket and attach one of these rattles that I got from the dollar store. They're so cute. Let me see if I can. There it is. So cute. It actually rattles. It's super sweet. Okay. I don't send home any clothes in my box openings due to the price of my dolls being so low. So I try to make the box opening as decorated and cute as I possibly can without spending too much money. So a lot of my stuff comes from the dollar store. Okay, let me go get her box and we'll stick her in it. Okay, I've got her box right here. This little girl's going to Texas. So stick her down in there and then Okay, she needs a, her thank you card, her pacifier. Let me go grab all that stuff. Okay, I went and got all of her goodies. So this is her pacifier and the handmade knitted pacifier clip that I knitted for her. It's yellow and her passy says, seriously cute. I got it from the dollar store. Um, it says, I've, I've got, I bought this stamp at the craft store that says handmade by, and then you write your name. I just thought that was cute to stick on the knitted pacifier clip so that they know that I made the pacifier clip and didn't buy it, that I knitted it myself for them. I think that's a nice touch. Then I always include some candy for the mom. It's got a little mini rattle in here, a Starburst, a Tootsie Roll, and some uh, Smarties. So I threw that in there. And then I have a thank you card with stickers on it, uh, like a cute flower sticker and a thank you sticker. And then her COA is in here, so I'll stick that down in there. Now I'll put her bubble wrap on. My fiance orders energy drinks, uh, bangs, and they send her these awesome pieces of bubble wrap that I steal and use for my dolls. Because <laughs> it, it looks really professional and um, it, it's like heavy duty. Okay, let me get the... Um, what's it called? Uh, man, what's it called? Tissue paper. And the tinsel that I put in there. tissue paper and then I've got this rainbow tinsel I just bought tinsel and mixed all different colors around I just throw a little bit of that on top because it looks pretty and then I will close her up and tape her and put her shipping label on and I will take her down to the post office 
Um, next, I'm going to open my Saskia kit that's coming in the mail for, uh, with you guys and a Cuddle Baby head. And then that'll be the end of the video. So I will see you in just a little bit when I open up that package. Hey guys, so this video is already 15 minutes long, it says on my editing app. So I am going to open my kit. Um, I'm going to do a kit opening in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Little Miss Blake says, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. And we'll see you guys um, in the next video for that kit opening. Okay, bye.